Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Look what we got delivered. They finally sent me the right bike. Um, Huffy Motors, which is owned by United uh, Motors, old name in the bike industry, uh, shipped this trike to me. Um, as you can see over there, the uh, Buzz, the first one over there, that's the one they sent by mistake, but they told me to keep it. So anyway, I'm going to go in and start unboxing this. I'm going to have to pause it a couple times. Um, but yeah, let's get it going. Okay, that was a 730 seconds uh, hex, uh, T hex, shall I say, to tighten that front handlebar down. So I might have got a little bit off here. I might adjust that later. It's close enough for demonstration purposes. And uh, get this rest of this packing off this tire and stuff, and uh, we'll get the tire put on. got to be careful when you take this packing off you don't want to uh, scratch the paint on your bike I'm very careful with that anymore when I'm taking all this packing material off you ready to take this tire off out of its packing Okay. More zip ties to cut. All right, we're gonna put the front tire on next. You always gotta move this, remove this spacer it's on here. Try not to touch the disc rotor if you can help it because that'll get all whirly on there and you'll get a lot of squeaking and you'll have to use some brake cleaner to uh, stop that. So keep, keep that in mind when you're uh, messing with these front tires. A couple more zip ties to cut, I see. I should have known I wasn't done with those. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful looking bike. I know Richard wanted me to do the review on this down in E-Bike Adventures and uh, E-Bike Reviews and Adventures down in Florida so he can compare uh, his bike. He bought a trike and he wants to try to compare the two. And so he was looking forward to watching this video for sure. And of course, we'll have to take out the, um, they've always, they always got a spacer um, where this front fork goes, or front tire. And I got to figure out how to get that spacer off there. Put 
Looks like it's in there pretty good, actually. Not sure how they got that on there, but they got it on there pretty good. Let me get a pair of pliers and see if I can pull that off there. Yeah, I think it just pull out, but it's a little stubborn. I know that's got to come off. It's coming off, but slowly. It ain't coming off very easily. this bike up just a little bit. See if I can work it from the other side. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video so I can get this thing off here. I know since you're watching all this mundane footage, but yeah, let me get this off here. Okay, folks, I'm back again. Uh, I went ahead and put the front tire on. Uh, I had to set it up on its back because it was a little bit difficult to get on, but I did get it in there, so I'm now assembling the pedals. And remember on, I believe it's your left side, the threads are always, always backwards when you uh, put these pedals on. So keep that in mind that one of them will always be backwards um, when you're threading it. So that's an important little factoid. Okay, that one's tight. All we got left is the seat to put on this thing and that's pretty much it. So, it really was an easy peasy assembly. As I mentioned, Richard down at E-Bike Reviews and uh, Adventures, he wished he would have went ahead and had his bike assembled. He had like three boxes he had to, uh, that all his stuff came in and he had to assemble that bike and he said it was a little difficult. But uh, he could have paid an extra $200 to get that done. <coughs> Excuse me. But with, uh, with Buzz trike, uh, it was pretty much all assembled. Normally, like most bikes, you put the front tire on, a couple baskets, usually pedals you always gotta put on. Front handlebar stem, that's one thing you always gotta put on. But other than that, I'm gonna get this thing flipped over where it goes. I'll put this fender on in a little while. Get these boxes out of the way so I can back this thing up. There we go, we'll just let it fall. There's your bike. So yeah, let me get it off this shipping crate here. Get it out in the driveway a little bit. So I can kind of work on it. Back up the camera here. Okay, let me roll this thing out here a little bit. You guys can see all of it. I've got to put on the uh, the seat and that's it. I don't know if the battery's charged or not.
but I really like this seat. It's a big fat, very spongy. Gonna be a very comfortable seat. So I may not have to get an aftermarket. This may be okay for her. Tighten this down a little bit. Come up a little bit for me since I've got to test ride it. After I straighten it out a little bit. But yeah, there it is. Uh, let me see if the battery is uh, charged or not. The last couple bikes I've got in, the uh, battery was not charged at all. So, let me pull the display up here a little bit and I'll tighten this stuff all down later. Here's your display. See which one of these is the power button. Again, the battery may be completely dead. I don't know yet. Nice little bell. After I adjust it, there we go. Um, yeah, I got a feeling the battery is completely dead in it. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I'm hitting the power button, the control button, and uh, it's not coming on, so. I do believe we may have to charge the battery. That's what it's looking like. Make sure I'm doing this right with the instruction manual. These shoes, it ain't so easy to get off this bike. I got these alligator shoes on, a little difficult. By the way, this is a mid-drive hub motor, as you can see. That's different. I was hoping to get a mid-drive in so I could review it. Must have to plug in a wire here. I see a, a wire completely unplugged. That could be the problem. Let me uh, check this out. Okay, it's coming from the rear. I got a wire unplugged right here, and I'm thinking that is the problem. I just got to find that where it plugs into. I do believe that's going to be to the controller, so I'll follow that wire down. But yeah, I don't know where that is. Let me pull inside. It's starting to rain here a little bit. Got some showers coming in today. Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, this wire's got something to do with it and I gotta track it down. I'm not sure why it's unplugged or where it goes to because I don't see any other wires that are loose on the bike. I'm running the one down from the controller and that's here goes back up into the display. I'm sorry, the pedal assist uh, wire, shall I say. Then it goes back down to the brake sensor. And this wire is completely unplugged and there is nothing that I can see that it plugs into. So yeah, I may have to look at a little bit of support here to figure this one out. Every now and then you'll get a bike like this that uh, gives you these kind of problems. So, it's just part of it.
I'm sure the battery is in there properly. There may be a switch on this, I don't know. I don't see a switch. I think that's a charging port there. And let me take loose this battery and see what we got. I always put these plastic things over the key, which I hate. That extra wire could be to a light. That's what I'm thinking uh, because I don't have the light on. And I think that's probably what that is. Yeah, the basket's only got a reflector on it. So that extra wire is going to go to the, um, that's gonna go up to the uh, light. Which this one does not come with that, by the way. Let's see which way unlocks this battery. I'm sure this one is just a charging port. This thing does not have a throttle either. So um, just keep in mind, I couldn't remember if it came with it, but I do not see a throttle on this. But you know, that's okay, because, um, well, I don't know. My wife may like a throttle, especially getting going. I have the same thing with the other Buzz bike. They don't have a, they don't have a throttle on it as well. So that's something uh, I don't like about either bike, if that's the case on this one. This one little charging port sure don't want to come loose tab on it. Now it goes that way. Okay, there's your charging port. I got a feeling this battery is completely dead. So, with that said, we got to charge the battery or we're not going to do anything. get the old handy dandy charger out here and we'll we'll plug it in so I pulled a muscle in my back as well and I'm not sure how I did that but uh, I'm just falling apart Yeah, I couldn't even get that control to turn on. I'm assuming the battery's completely dead. That's the only thing that makes sense. So we will charge it up for a little while and see if we can get it to come on. How's that? I got a mess to clean up my garage, I know that.
sure what this little thing on the side is. I gotta look and see what that is. It ain't a switch that I can tell. If it is, it's an awful odd looking switch. Appears to be a USB port, actually. If there is, I don't see it down in there. What if that had to do why the battery wouldn't come out? That still ain't doing it. I'm gonna go up here and charge this bike. Remember when you are, um, When you are charging these batteries, it's very important to always plug the cord into the bike first before you uh, put it into the wall. Because you don't want that wall current coming back into your battery. Uh, that could cause a little bit of problems. So with that said, I always charge, put it in the bike, the bike battery first, and then I will charge it into the wall. All righty. I don't know where the light's on this one at. So far, don't even, don't even show a light on it. got one of these in good enough yet. That's in there, right? Everything on a bike works until it don't work. How's that? If it's got a red light, it's awful dim. I don't think that thing's even charging. I'm still trying to figure out what this little thing is here. Yes, I bet we read the manual. Let's just say it don't look like a USB port. I'm going to have to read the manual on that. Anyway, the bike is put together. Pretty seamless, actually. Got to uh, iron out a few small details here. And uh, then we'll give it a test ride. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Hello, everyone. Dan again with Senior E-Bike Nation. Hey, here it is built. I did take it on a short test ride. It definitely takes getting used to a trike versus a regular bicycle. So yeah, um, I'll be doing a test ride on it and we'll be filming here in a day or so. I'm trying to get the feel a little better. So anyway, just wanted to tell you that I got the thing built. And share and like and hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. I will see you guys on the next video.